It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be talking about a proportional relationship that exists in a graph. We'll be presented with four different graphs, and we need to determine which represents the relationship. Here we go. A student is typing a story on a computer. She types at a constant rate of 40 words per minute. We're asked which graph represents the relationship between y, the total number of words the student has typed, and x, the time in minutes that she has spent typing. And you're given four graphs to pick from to see which one represents this real world situation. Here's where I'd like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we're looking at graphs that represent a relationship between y and x. And when we look at x and y, those are ordered pairs. So any x, y is an ordered pair, and we're looking to find the one that represents this real world relationship. So when we look at this, we're told that x is our first thing we're looking at, represents minutes. So x is our time in minutes. Anytime we're going to start with x, that coordinate, we're looking at the number of minutes. And we can see this graph starts at 0 and goes to 9 minutes. Then when we're looking at y, we're going to be understanding that y represents the total number of words typed. And we can see all four graphs have x axis labeled minutes and y axis labeled total words typed. So we can see that it's a relationship between the number of minutes that she spent typing and the number of words that she typed. So now let's look at what they gave us. They told us that she types at a constant rate of 40 words per minute. So our x, our minutes, is 1 because it's per minute. So our x coordinate is 1, and then the number of words in that one minute is 40. So that means 40 words per minute, that unit rate, is represented by the ordered pair 140. So now we just need to go and look at our four graphs and see which graph has 140 on the line. So we're going to start here. 140 has a point right there. That is above the line. So I'm going to eliminate choice A. On graph B, we're going to graph 140. And that's where our point would be, not on the line. So I'm going to eliminate B. Let's graph 140 on graph C. That is on the line. So I just want to look at graph D just to make sure. 140 is right here. And that's actually below the line. So we can eliminate that and understand that graph C represents this real world relationship. The other thing we want to point out is we have a constant rate of 40 words per minute and we can see this is a proportional relationship because the graph begins or passes through the origin and it's a straight line. But that is how you can take a real world relationship, write it as an ordered pair to determine the graph. Thanks for joining me today as we looked at the graph of a proportional relationship to determine which one represented our real world situation. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I thank you for joining me today and hope you have a great day.